Gerard Nicol. Tape Whisperer with 25 years of expertise in enterprise storage management. November 9, 2014. True leadership has no followers. Every second meme on LinkedIn these days seems to be a post about leadership and how true leaders don't do this and instead do that. It's very easy to come up with these ideas and it's very easy to post your support with a like, but the reality is that the people who put these memes together are neither leaders nor likely to become leaders. Just take a look at the technologies you use today, or the political values that you hold and chances are they were created by someone who was ostracized their whole life, or by somebody who was seen as a complete prick for their entire career as a leader. Those of us who live in the world based on English values have to thank for our legacy the efforts of people like Oliver Cromwell who not only stood up for the crown, but then, having executed the king went on to become a tyrant in his own right. Cromwell is hardly the leader we see in today's memes. John Adams, the second president of the United States, was among the first to publicly praise Thomas Paine for his efforts in polarizing the colonies in their opposition to the crown. Paine who arguably wrote the first draft of the Declaration of Independence, was an atheist and wasn't even invited to sign the final version of the Declaration, which had been edited by Jefferson to remove references to the evils of slavery and references to the Scottish mercenaries. Paine was undoubtedly a leader, both in his thoughts, and in his actions but there is no monument to Paine in Washington, instead there is a monument to Jefferson who not only kept slaves himself, but was in a sexual relationship with one of them, something that was viewed as unacceptable then and now, but for very different reasons. The movie The Social Network portrays Mark Zuckerberg as a someone who, at the first sign of anybody not following his vision for the future of social networking, used others to marginalize and dispossess the non-believers from any control in his company. Steve Jobs is hardly remembered for his people skills, and Larry Ellison is unlikely to be remembered for his compassion to others. Churchill is remembered as a great leader, but as an inexperienced leader he had lead many men to pointless deaths in the trenches and beachheads of the First World War, something we would not know about had it not been for the efforts of individuals such as Rupert Murdoch's father Keith who disobeyed the orders of his militarily commanders. Leadership, by its very definition is a lonely place, where even the best of people fail to convince others to follow. Sure there are plenty of people who will want to be part of the success if and when the success has been achieved, but as a leader's the only choice that has been available to most successful people has been to rule by fear, rule by deceit or to persevere alone. When it comes to going it alone, one needs to weigh the benefits of convincing others of your vision against the head start one has inherited, the insights one has, brevity of life, and the time lost convincing others to believe and follow. I put it to those who post leadership memes that those values you wish your leaders had are not the values that any leader holds and that the people you see as leaders are no longer the leaders, they are simply people who, though their success are now rich enough to conservatively live off the efforts of others. Thank you. Visual Media for Internet Nation